following the successful implementation of the OneDrive submission process for the January 2022 series, we will continue to use this process for relevant selected externally assessed BTEC units. This short video guide will show you how to upload learner work for these units to us. We have created a secure OneDrive folder where the learner work will need to be uploaded to. Please complete the email contact form if you haven't already done so, if you have entries for the units in scope. After you've completed the form, we will send you an email. Please check your inbox and look for an email from btech.traditional at pearson.com. The email will contain an embedded link to your OneDrive folder and some helpful tips on locating the verification code. Click your centre folder link to open a verification window. To verify your identity, you must press the send code button. This will prompt an automated email to be sent to you with the verification code. Please check your inbox for a new message from SharePoint Online. If you do not see the email in your inbox, please check your spam folder. Please note the verification code will only work for 15 minutes. Once you've copied your code, go back to the verification window, enter the code, and click the verify button. This will now give you access to your census folder. We encourage you to save your folder as a bookmark or favourite in your browser. In your centre folder, you will see a list of folders ordered by unit code based on our record of your entries made for the units in scope. These will be named with the unit code, assessment name and exam submission date. We will also include a PDF guidance document in your centre folder for you. Let's look at one of the folders and go through what it contains. Each unit folder will have a learner folder already created based on the entries made at the time your link is sent. A learner handout is also included for printing, which will include a guide on naming, saving and the correct file types to use. This could be placed on the learner's desk before the exam start time, but of course doesn't have to be used. You will also find learner place cards in each unit folder which you can download or directly print in order to cut out the individual learner place card. You don't need to use the learner folders created for you if you've already created your own, as long as the material is added to the correct external assessment folder. To do this, you can use the upload function or you can drag and drop the files into the main unit folder. I'm going to use the learner folders, so let's go to the first one for an example. I'm going to click on the upload option again and select to upload files. This will open a file explorer window from where you can select the files that you want. You can upload multiple files for each individual candidate by holding either the shift or control key on your keyboard and selecting multiple files. Once you've selected the files that you want to upload, click on the open button in the window. The files will then begin uploading to the OneDrive folder. How fast the file uploads is dependent on the file size, quantity of files selected and your upload speed. You can view the upload progress by clicking on the sync icon in the top toolbar. Once the file or files have been uploaded, you will see a notification message on the toolbar. Please note you can also drag and drop files into these folders by dragging the files from where you've saved them and dropping them in the folder. Now that I've uploaded the work for Anne, I'm going to quickly do that again for my other present learners. Please note, centres must submit all learner work together for each learner by the submission deadline. If you do add anything later, please notify us by emailing btech.traditional at pearson.com. We will send a notification email at the end of each day confirming which assessments have been uploaded. You will have an attendance register and centre checklist within each external assessment folder. This will be pre-populated with details of all entries made at the time the link was sent. All learners who complete work should be marked as present. Please ensure there is an X in either the present or the absent column for any learner listed. For a learner that has been withdrawn from the assessment, please mark the learner as absent on the attendance register. To assist centres when uploading work to the OneDrive, 
the attendance register now includes a centre checklist, which clearly lists what each learner should submit as part of the assessment. This information is taken from the Administrative Support Guidance document. This will allow you to check and confirm if the learner has completed the work and that it has been uploaded, preventing examiner queries during the marking process. On the sheet, you should use the drop downs and select yes or no to indicate that the work has been completed and uploaded. If you notice any missing entries, please add these to the bottom of the attendance register and email vtech.traditional at pearson.com and we will make the entries for you. If you have added learners to the attendance register, you will also need to create a learner folder. To do this, press on the new button on the left of the screen and select folder. We wish you all the best in your upcoming BTEC exams.